What's going on guys, welcome to the channel, Jay here. In this video, we're gonna be doing a quick unboxing of our new AC Infinity T4 inline duct fan, as well as the carbon filter, and we also got the tubing to match. I really like this tubing, guys. You guys will see that in a second. Uh, before we get started, guys, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all the new and old subscribers, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. I never even dreamed that we would get this close to a thousand, man, it's insane. So stay on the lookout for the 1K sub giveaway. Got something really dope in store. If you haven't already subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button guys we put out weekly videos um it's probably gonna be more than one video a week because we're gonna be doing product unboxings product comparisons all types of shit um we got a new grow tent coming a new grow light coming so we're gonna definitely be upgrading the garden a little bit um, we have the Mars Hydro inline duct fan coming as well. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be the 4, 6, or 8 inch, uh, but it also has a controller. So we end up doing a comparison video between them two and just seeing the quality in each controller and the functionality and all that. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump right in this unboxing. I know it's a weird angle, guys, but uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, starting it off, we got the AC tube part, which is going to be our 4 inch ducting because we went with the T4. Gonna slide this box open. I know y'all like my pink razor blade. Pop that top. And boom, off rip, you already get two duct clamps, so you don't have to pay extra for that shit. That's definitely a plus. Pull this bad boy out the box. Yeah, it's got some weight on it for sure. Crack this bag open. So off rip guys, this thing is definitely quality. It's got a four layer design, which is pretty much makes it uh, more durable and resistant against leaks, tears and cuts. It's got a steel wire spiral structure, as well as being made of aluminum and thermoplastic. So it's definitely some quality shit. And next up we got our carbon filter. Definitely quality shit, man. This motherfucker is so heavy. It's heavier than the actual unit itself. Got your little booklet. Always keep them booklets, man. You never know what the hell's gonna be in there. I used to not really mess with manuals, but I'm damn sure you wanna have them for this type of shit. And it comes with straps as well, man. I saw in a couple YouTube videos that it didn't come with it, but thank goodness it did. Uh, next up, we got our dust cover. Uh, this is gonna go on a couple different ways depending on airflow. I'll go through that a little bit more in depth. Uh, you put it on the outside if you're kind of ventilating from the tent out, and you put it on the inside if you're pulling air in. But it's definitely some quality, man. I like that dark color, and I like the blue stitching. Shit's fresh. It won't show dirt as bad, if you know what I mean. All right, jumping over to the unit itself. Yeah, like I said earlier, man, this motherfucker is so heavy, dude. So, I mean, I mean you know how most people pretty much associate heavy with quality, but it's not always true. But this motherfucker right here, dog, it definitely looks quality. Feels quality for sure. Can knock somebody out with this thing. Give you a little glimpse of the inside. And it's made from premium grade Australian charcoal, which is supposed to have a higher absorption rate and a longer lifespan as well. But yeah, there goes the carbon filter. Set that bad boy to the side. Jump on to the main vent. This is the actual duct fan, guys. All right, popping the top. You can see you get your manual and controller. Definitely hang on to that manual because uh, it's got a lot of different settings on this thing. If you haven't ever used one, you definitely want to read and learn about that shit before you operate it. 
taking a quick look at the controller guys this thing is dope as fuck you can hook another fan up to it you can go with the s series which doesn't have a controller like this and it'll still work just fine got your little probe inlet back mounts you can pretty much mount it any way you want velcro in the wall screws bro the bluetooth feature is sick as fuck it is so dope man you can control everything from your phone you can set alarms for low high humidities for lower to high temperatures pretty much everything on this thing you can do from your phone as well so it's definitely a plus with that shit i'm so excited about it all right jumping back in the box right here we got our sensor probe Pop this thing open. And it's definitely a plus it comes with a little cover over the probe because you don't know like what type of damage can happen in shipping with it. Calibration can get off, all types of different shit. But yeah, decent probe. Jumping over, we got some more duct clamps, so we got two more of those as well. So now we got a total of four, which are stainless steel and weatherproof, all type of shit. So you won't have to worry about no rust with them. All right, almost on to the main event. Gonna check out our little accessory goodie bag first. Uh, you get zip ties, velcro straps, all types of different shit. Uh, the mounting equipment for actual AC Infinity tents. Right now I'm using Mars Hydro. And we got some more straps, man. You can't never have enough of them. Definitely stoked about that. Yep, yep, for sure though. Good stuff. Alright, let's get the main event. Literally, vent, pun intended. Hey. <laughs> so, giving you a little size comparison, it's pretty small, man. Like, my entire hand almost covers up the whole thing. It's got nice uh, directional airflow symbols. That way, you know which way is which. So, you don't mount it backwards for some reason. Definitely high quality materials. Which AC Infinity has always had high quality shit. Man, I love the way this thing looks. Super sleek. Very pleasing to the eyes. Uh, so right here is going to be where you can pop the middle part out and clean it. Uh, you're going to want to do that every six months or so, but we'll go through and make a video about that in a couple months. Super sturdy mountain bar. Got your plug right here. As well as the controller input. But yeah, I'm definitely stoked about this thing. It's the perfect size for the tent that I'm running. Uh, I'm not going to get too much bigger tents in the future. I'll probably get a couple more smaller ones, but yeah, that's in the future. I'll be on the lookout for the review for this, definitely. Um, taking a look real quick before we go, we're going to check out the blades. It does have plastic blades, which I've heard a lot of people wanted uh, like metal or steel blades. But shit, I haven't heard any complaints about these blades or any type of manufacturing defects or anything like that. So if you have, let me know in the comments. But most of all, it shit's supposed to be quality. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Appreciate you tuning into this video. Um, we still got our grow series regular coming out in a couple days, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, everybody have a dope ass evening, man. Hope everybody has a good one. Be safe out there. Keep smoking. Until the next one, peace.